Morning everyone, it's Malcolm here. How to be sure we're hearing from God. So um, we've been looking at that this week um, and I've been asked to, to say a little bit about asking God um, and making bold and audacious requests. Um, a couple of days ago I went on a, a long run through Epping Forest um, and I usually find that Running is a good place for me to hear from God. And sometimes, the further I run, the more I hear God speaking, which is interesting. Um, anyway, on this, on this long run, I started um, just getting this impression of, of heaven's glory. Um, and I got this sense of heaven dripping with glory and being soaked in glory and saturated in glory. And as I was... Um, as I was running, I started worshipping and just um, talking to God and just asking that, for that glory to come on earth, just like it is in heaven. Um, and yeah, I just as I, I kept, on, kept on going and, and just enjoying, uh, just asking God to let his kingdom come. In the, uh, in the Bible, there's a story, isn't there, about um, what a father should do when, when, a, when a child asks for something. So when a, a, good, a good father, if a child asks for a, for a fish, they don't, don't, doesn't give him a snake, or if he asks for an egg, doesn't give him a scorpion. We know how to give good gifts. And then it goes on to say how, how much more God will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. As I was carrying on my little run in the forest, um, in, the, in the distance I saw a, a child. It was right in the middle of the forest, early in the morning. I wonder, who, who's that child with? And as I got closer, I was a bit taken aback. It was, it was a coat on a pole, um, and it made me chuckle. But it instantly gave me... As I, as, I was, as I was in this moment of worshipping, um, instantly gave me this um, conviction that in order for us to receive, we need to ask like a child. We need to become like children. And it was just a reminder from God. So when we're asking for big things, when we're asking for the kingdom, and we're asking... Um, that heaven would come on earth. We need to approach that as, as children. Um, so today, let's just be expectant of the Holy Spirit. Let's uh, expect God to fill us with the Holy Spirit because after all, as the passage says, how much more will God give the Holy Spirit to those who ask for it? It's the biggest thing, it's the greatest thing the most powerful thing that we can ask for and God freely wants to give it to us.